second. Make me a co you want to make me a co-host uh, or yeah, you are. Thank you okay. so much for stepping up. When I ask people yes, to come right. on the show, I ask them to do something that they think is simple and then they can share it with us. And when we're done, we'll be like, we think it's simple too. Yeah. So, and Fred, I'm so glad another Californian's here because this is very uh, common and easy to find in California. Good, My thanks. I'm looking forward to it. What do you call it? Mambu tofu is very easy to find in California? In LA, it's extremely easy to find, yes. Okay. So Every restaurant would have it. What is it? And why did you pick this recipe or this? Yeah, it's just not mambu tofu. Yeah, it's uh, easy for everybody. And the, the ingredient, uh, it's uh, very few. You don't need a lot of prepare it, preparation. It's simple, it's easy, cheap, and it has this kind of uh, tinglingness that people always associate with Chinese food. Oh, that's because Szechuan pepper? Like, like Szechuan pepper tingling. The Szechuan pepper taste. It's in the sweet and so sour. It's in the uh, General Charles chicken. It's in a lot of uh, the Panda Express spicy foods. When you like eat a lot of Chinese food, even if it's not spicy, you can taste it. If, if people like the spicy, they will order this. Number one. And number and two, it has the uh, cornstarch that gives it its uh, mouth feel, its texture. It's got that not uh, stickiness, but not wateriness. It's just a little bit. Yeah. Q, we I, call might, it. I might have too much sugar, but <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. So and the, I'm going to I'm going to double the recipe. So I got two things uh -huh. of tofu. Wow. Well, yeah. Today I went on a tour of a bison farm, and so I got a little bit of um, what do you call it? Bison, bison meat thawed out. Wow. So I don't know if that will ruin it. It doesn't no, sound very no, well. No. That doesn't sound too Chinese. <laughs> no, but uh, if you water have buffalo, beef, maybe. Fine. Actually, all the beef in China is water buffalo. They don't have the black and white cows. So if you go to China, if you eat beef, it's water buffalo. Yeah, those are strange. No, and then uh, of course I got in the country and garlic. Wonderful. Um, soy sauce. Always the only thing I actually had to buy was uh, tofu. I and you already a, had the Szechuan peppers? Yes. That's oh. Fred introduced me to Szechuan peppers, and I have this little grinder that I use on almost all my food. For many years, they weren't, there was an import restriction on them for years. Yes. And they just let up on it in recent times. So now they're available and not exorbitantly expensive. Now, the only yeah. thing I didn't have was you said Chinese cooking wine. Oh, you don't need no, I have some wine. sake left over from another cooking class. Will that? Yeah. Or should yeah, I put okay. some red wine? No, I have. No, a no, no, no. You need just a very little amount. What's it yeah, called? Xiao yeah. Xing or something? I have a. I have the Chinese cooking wine. It's oh, a rice ding. wine. Xiao oh, Xing, yes. Okay. Yeah, I have that. Yeah. And um, if you don't have rice wine, it's not that uh, you're not, it's not a big deal. It's not like French cooking where you're reducing a whole bottle of port into a sauce. No, it's just a very small. The other day, I, I, I debated whether to buy that whole bottle of sake for this one recipe. No, I only needed like no. two, two tablespoons, but it did imagine, like I've been starting to use a little alcohol in my cooking and it's amazing how a couple tablespoons really pops the flavor. Oh, yeah, there's a very beautiful um, flor flower of uh, flavors inside wine. It's good. Acid will do that even without wine. Like you can yeah. use balsamic vinegar instead if you need to avoid the alcohol. Vinegar. That's why quite often they put a dash of lemon juice in things. Yeah, I, did. I saw a recipe I cooked a couple of days ago, and it said use like this certain kind of wine. Or it said, um, this other kind of wine, or you know, white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Yes. So it gave you four choices of acid. So yes. Yeah. We uh, ready? 
This, yes, uh, this is a uh, mapo tofu and then it's served on a bed of rice and the rice takes the longest, so that usually comes first. So okay. we have a rice cooker, if not, a pot of water is fine. And uh, you just put the water and the rice on. Once it boils, you turn it to low boil and you keep the lid on the whole time, that's it. So if you haven't uh, already started your rice cooker or the pot How much of rice, water, how much rice for a pot? Uh, in uh in uh, okay usually it's one on one one cup rice one cup of uh uh, uh water yes so so you can so it. what if i'm doing this big pot do i just fill okay. it full of rice and then fill it full of the same amount of water is what i always is that do. in the rice cooker or yes. okay. is that on the stove both is the same one on one okay yeah okay so if uh, like a woman may have that that rice uh may have found that in the I show I show them. Show them. Uh if the uh okay. So after you pour the water in there, if uh, and, uh, okay, I, I should put some uh one uh, rice here and show them. Sorry, the uh camera's on the rice. <laughs> It's all it's okay. I we always know thought what, that we I know should what do rice a, looks like. <laughs> I should do a cooking show that just shows how to cook rice from like seven oh. different ways everybody does it. Okay. Does it, does it matter much what kind of rice it is? White rice is nice because if you have brown rice, it, it really doesn't come out. Uh, brown got rice. Got and I have jasmine. Let's Long grain. You want the jasmine. All right, thanks. Jasmine and basmati are the premium rices, but okay. we if you don't have a major cup, you put you 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 put a, a double. The layer will be double of the rice. Yeah, it after it washed, okay? After it washed, you pour the the uh, the water. The high My mom always up. said put this much more water above the rice. Uh, the finger? She puts two fingers above the oh. rice. Two yeah. fingers of rice and two fingers of water. Yeah, everybody has yeah. different way. So she just does equal height of rice, equal height of, uh, of water on the top. That, so that's a, that's if it's a quarter inch of rice, then it's a quarter inch of water above the rice. That's the water level. That's I right. always heard that it's one, two, three. Huh? One rice, two waters makes three cups, three times. Oh yeah, yeah, at the end. But when you put it into the pot or the rice cooker, it's exactly one, two, and then three comes at the end. Yeah. One, All right. two. Uh, yeah. One yeah. and a two. Yeah, yeah. One, I am ready. So get the rice started and uh, the rice the, everyone usually ha I know has a rice cooker or just water and rice onto uh, the burner. And once it comes up to a boil, bring it to a low boil and keep the lid on the whole time. Don't peek. Don't peek. Don't peek. <laughs> Just when you hear the boil rumble of the rice, then you turn it to the rolling boil. Simmer. Rolling boil yes. hot. Simmer. Yeah. yeah. And then everything goes on the bed of rice when the rice is done. Uh, you have the electric range, like I usually use, doesn't take that long. The gas range is really fast for the rice. Depends if your long grain or short grain, your cook time will vary. Yeah, well, we have induction. Yeah, I've been doing uh, I've been doing uh, the Instapot now for my grains. So. Right. I'm peeling some garlic. Yes. It's, it's reached the so, point now that any recipe I do, I Oh, just there's your little cleaver. You should have a cleaver. Yes. So mom only uses a cleaver for everything and uh, she's gonna start to chop up the- your, Okay, uh, so I have one. So you're gonna have to teach me. I've only used this one time. Yours looks like a Viking, something the Vikings had before. Oh yeah? <laughs> this is- It would be easier to use the grinder. So my mother only uses the meat cleaver, but she knows you guys are, have an American kitchen, so she's yeah. going to use. It's no, safe. show us how to do the meat flavor. <laughs> oh no, no, no! She, she, she would like to. 
be accommodating to the American kitchen. Well, don't use her finger. So yeah, it's a, it's a safer. Don't use the knife, okay? So <laughs> that's doing safer. Ginger? I've I've only cut my fingers on the mandolin. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> are we doing the ginger now? Or what are we cooking? Maybe it's grating the garlic. Garlic first. Okay. But you and can chop it up if you want. The ginger doesn't go isn't able to go through a um, cheese grater. It's too let's see. Let's try. Let's try. No, unless you fiber. Fibrous. I use the Indian before if I you use a, the ginger, then it's I not use awesome. Indian a garlic ginger paste. Yeah. yeah I do too. So I buy it at the paste. I don't have time to grate ginger. I have yeah. a, a container of garlic ginger paste for the That's next fine. time I cook a lot. Uh, the paste or the powder substitute is fine. Yeah. We use the fresh stuff just because it's cheaper in LA to use the fresh stuff uh, in this market. That's all. Uh, I know in North Carolina, the fresh garlic is more expensive than the packaged paste or the powder for the market price. Yeah, just the... Uh, uh, yeah. It's whatever is good in your market. This is supposed to be cheap and easy and cheap. All right, so are we just frying everything, making a soup? The process the pot and put a little oil in there. I want, when, when she gets finished, I want Or to see how thin the cleaver is when she's finished. It's more like a knife. <laughs> not, the one he has is like if you wanted to spatchcock a chicken or something. And you know well, what? This, you, sir, this, we was, use, uh, this particular one was um, we the, the recommended by we a Chinese move. lady. She was just like, we don't move the, 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 the. We don't we, we, we don't move the 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 the, 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 the she oh, it, she right. doesn't move the tip so the tip stays that's in right. one place so that's exactly. and then keep the point down exactly that also is easier on your hand so you don't have to lift up the weight of the knife you put your weight on the knife and your weight does all the work yeah. you don't lift the whole knife up it's easier for yeah. i guess my mom she's a small woman usually People do that. In, the chefs also do this this way. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. I'm we try. Just, uh, this is a ginger and the garlic. Yeah, together yeah. because at the end of yeah. the mapo tofu, it's going to be together anyway. So if you mix it together now, it saves you half the work. You don't have to chop it individually. Yeah, because we don't want and to And how fine do you have to chop it? Are you just this is chopping it pretty fine? Are yeah, to yeah it it's taste? pretty fine. Because we don't want to eat the, the ginger. <laughs> yeah, because if it's too big, it'll get stuck between the teeth and it's just uh, not Especially for good. people who don't, who don't like the ginger. Like me, I don't like ginger taste. Yeah. You so don't want to bite you... into a piece of ginger. Exactly. Fred got it perfectly. So do you right. ever put it in a mortar and pestle and like chop it real fine or? This is it. You got one knife and one cutting board. And if you're in America, you get one of these. Okay. This is the tools of the Chinese okay. kitchen. All right, it's yeah. fine enough, okay? See? Okay, so that's, yeah. I got my garlic, but. It's almost like a paste. Yeah, it's almost paste-like, yes. Don't make it like a paste, because uh, paste. Uh, it's a lot of work, I think. Paste, uh, I don't think that uh, usually people no. don't, how do you make paste? You use the, the uh, food No, I'd say it's like, it's not paste, it's like a paste. Well, yeah, you yes. would use okay. a, super a mortar and pestle or no, none of that. Just, nah. just the knife nah. and the uh, chopping block. And okay. at this point, you can open up your package of tofu. Did know. you chop the ginger also already? Yes, ginger and garlic can be chopped together. That's fine. Okay, then, now do you peel the ginger or you just chop it? Oh yeah, she peeled the ginger and one chop of this block, the first cut uh, usually does it easily. And Because uh, I never the peel the ginger unless there's a bad spot. Okay, well, it's just easier for the uh, teeth. You don't have to have a floss after you eat this yeah, afterwards. You don't have all. to peel the ginger. Don't have right. to. Right. It doesn't affect flavor. 
but the key for the Mapo Dove is you use the silicon or as, a, as a soft as possible. You don't use the hard one, even uh -huh. the medium one, even the silken. medium one. Silken tofu. Yeah, so I've got yeah, soft the tofu. price at Walmart for the firm and the silken, I believe. Yeah. Use the softest one. Check out that. But you can use medium, right? Because yeah, but it's not can, preferred. Uh, it's preferred to have the silken. If yeah. that's all there is, then yeah. Yeah, because I have a lot of the medium and I don't like the silken. Okay, yeah, you can if you. <laughs> this is the only second time I've used this big cleaver. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty heavy duty. No. I'm a big fan of a cleaver at home, but Howard only uses the chef's knife. That's only because that's the only one I have. So I really like, yeah, I really like my chef's knife. I mean, it's yeah. so I like how Howard says it's the only one he has. We have a cleaver. It's at the bottom. I'm not reaching at the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're not okay with the cleaver, you can okay, use a smaller uh, one. You cut the tofu. And notice that this cutting board is round. The reason why it's round and it's nice is because it's impossible to turn the tofu without breaking it. You turn the cutting board, not the tofu. That way ah. you don't, yes. Now you Good cut point. the tofu, be careful because ah. it's so soft. It's okay. very soft. So you handle the tofu as little as possible once it's on the cutting board. Size. So. Okay, she already Where? Cut. cut them into like a cube. Half. Cube. Yeah. Cubes. Okay. Yes. Cut the five. What size cubes? She also already cut it one way. Yeah, yes. Through the so the long she, way. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Because of the shape of the tofu, there. she cut yeah. the long way first, and then you want give or take about half inch by half inch by half inch cubes. And you move the knife, and you move. You don't move the tofu. Right. You don't touch the tofu. Don't to touch the tofu as little as possible. And that's about how small or big you want it. Half inch by half inch by half inch. Yeah. Give or take. Doesn't All have right. to be perfect. OK, so, there's going to be a secret to getting it off of there. So don't move it yet. Oh, well, the water from the tofu comes out of the packaging, and it naturally makes a wetness between the board and the tofu and just okay. push the tofu off. Oh, okay. There is a, a key to take out the tofu. People said, told me, uh, you cut the button. No, that's... You cut a little button so they will drop. Yeah, so the air can go in. Oh, so it didn't make suction. a suction. Yeah. Exactly. Break, breaks the suction. Exactly. Uh -huh. So do we cut, do we cut parallel to the board? Do we make slices that way too? Yeah, so it's you make yeah, one just big long cut to make a parallel, half inch cube. One big long right. cut through the whole thing parallel to the board. And then so the longer cut tricky. first is easier. So the big cut first and then the small cuts at the end keeps the tofu from breaking apart. Howard, is this pot big enough to do two pounds of tofu or just one? Uh should be barely enough for two. I think that's fine. Because I yeah. bought two, two. Or I, I think that, two okay. batches. unless you have a bigger pot. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a bigger pot. That's what I'm saying. Well, Fred always gives me a hassle because I only have two, uh -huh. two pots. Well, <laughs> I know. She I know. Better have a pot too big than too small. We chopped That's some really exactly. big pots. We already chopped everything. Oh, you have me a glass of tea. Yeah, onion. So you can cut the onion. And then your. We call them scallions, but they're green onions. Oh, Chop them I forgot to get that. Oh, don't worry. Uh, can I use regular onion? onions or Whatever. just skip it? You can substitute with uh, parsley also. Parsley, oh, I green got that. Onion. I've got some parsley here. So, I'm sorry, cilantro. You can substitute cilantro. That's fine. Yeah, you know, I've got a thing of cilantro and a thing of parsley right here. Yeah, uh, cilantro then. Cilantro is cheaper. So definitely go with the cheaper ingredient. I actually go with parsley. Parsley here is you get twice as much for the same price. Here. Oh, that's different. LA is the opposite. Yeah, it depends well, on you, your 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 market. I say they're seventy nine cents a bunch, and parsley. You oh, get there twice you go. As much. <laughs> there you go. All right. I like uh, cilantro. That's why. Yeah, or it. green onions, whatever is cheaper in your market is fine. Well, now I don't These have room on my board to cut. 
Well, <laughs> like scallions. Oh, no. oh yes. And if you have the ground up, um, which one? Hua Jiao. Sichuan. Sichuan. If you don't, you have the peppercorn. You can either use the grinder or you can use the rolling pin, and then they just crush it. So it's already pretty dry itself. There's two varieties. There's a red and a green, and you can start out with the red, and the green one's the fancier one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I usually run mine through a, a sieve, so there's no no little uh, holes left behind. Yeah, that's true. That's true. One time I didn't do it, and I I was eating it, and I thought, "Oh my God, what's going on here?" So was, we're also right now just going to open up our chicken broth at the same time and prep these ingredients to ready right, to so go I've into the some, pot. I don't have chicken broth, but I got my own veggie broth. Yeah, vegetable broth. Yeah, whatever. Uh, any broth is good. Uh, it's because all these the bits, all these bits I saved here, like the scraps, that goes into a gallon bag in my fridge. Wow. And then that's uh, where I make my, I make one bag for meat and one bag for, well, I do three now. One seafood, one meat, one veggie, and then I can make three different broths. On the ingredients list, you didn't see any salt. It's because the broth itself already has salt inside. So you don't need bean to add paste salt. Is and, salty. Yeah. Oh. And the bean paste already has salt inside. So you don't need extra salt. Whatever's in here is fine already. Mm, that broth so, is so good. Okay, well, come on, hello. Everything chopped? I think so. All right. Yeah, she's going to put some oil on her pan. What yeah, so the, uh, mushrooms. Do the pan and then you put a little bit of oil in your cook, want, just yeah. a tiny bit of oil in the pan. Yeah, I don't want the two pieces. This is yeah, saute the three. ginger garlic. Yes. yes. Ginger the ginger garlic. and the garlic comes out first. And uh, if you have the raw meat, cook uh, almost at the same time. Okay. Yes. So if you have the meat, now is also the time to prep it. If you have uh, some sort of vegetarian substitute, it's, uh, those don't have to cook too well. You just, those just have to heat up, right. which is what I usually use with uh, in Carolina because vegetarian is. Half tea, half yeah, so just enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan and then you kind of swish it around. We love these kind of rolling Walk. pans, walks. <laughs> Because you can stir it without using a, 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 a spoon. So, or how are you I'm doing on your this. steps? I just started heating up my pan. I've got. You got the oil inside? Yeah. All right, great. And then put, put garlic, ginger, and then the meat. Right. Yes. So the garlic, ginger mixture goes in first. Make sure and it's then hot. the smell. Yes. Doesn't Once, have to be very hot. Well, we're using gas, so this thing heats up in a blink of an eye. Uh, electric or, one. First, got gas too. Or yeah, the electric gas. one would take about a minute. When you smell uh, the garlic, you can put uh, the uh, your meat in there. Yes, if raw you have meat. your raw meat, now you can put it in. If it's meat, but not if it's that vegetarian substitute. I have a little bit. So today we're going to put a little bit of the meats, our meats in here now. So I don't tend to eat much, much meat, but I couldn't turn down this bison. Okay, you need to have there your you onion and your garlic in there, or? The garlic's mm. in already, yeah. Oh, yes. What's in the little bowl? That's ginger. Well, that's supposed Wait, to go in too. Way too much ginger, but oh, ginger see. and garlic first, and uh, I put the, the the meat thing there also. And as you can tell, with the gas range, it heats up fast. Mm -hmm. Let's see again. Now I need to order. Here it is. And that's the American way to stir with a spoon, but the Chinese, the wok is round. Well, I so made the mistake of once even. putting this big chunk of meat in it, thinking. I, I, I grew up not eating, uh, cooking much meat. And I once made the mistake of just putting the big chunk of meat there thinking it's gonna spread out. <laughs> and now uh, I learned you have to really one. chop it up. Especially the lean, like, um, yeah, buffalo is really lean. Uh, 
and so you really want to spread meat. it out. I think he used a lot of meat. Yeah, he used that. Well, you, I am doubling the recipe. Oh, it's two thirds because he wants to. The recipe said half a pound, and I'm doing a pound. And、oh, okay. You're gonna feed three hundred people. That's what you need, or feed three、yeah. hundred people regularly. Well, I have a on my front porch. I have a, a commercial stainless steel fridge, and I、mm. put the food from the cooking show out there for people in the buy nothing group、nice. to come get. I have some. If you want to spread the meat, you use low heat. Otherwise, they was they were, you know.、Well, Getting hard, like a yeah, coffee. yeah.、That's、so this is、mistakes. where the texture comes in. If you right now, I have you want it to... at about half temperature. Okay, so it's gonna be more like smooth versus、uh, chunky. Yeah, like you see, what are the mayonnaise? So、Fine. what do we have in there right now? So right now, you should start with the garlic and、uh, ginger mixture first. Once、yes. you smell the garlic and ginger pop out, then you put the meats in. Except if you're using the vegetarian substitute. Right, right, good. I don't think anyone here is using a vegetarian substitute. Aaron, I'm, I'm using mushrooms. Oh, oh, oh! So that's easy then. That's super easy. Uh, you don't need to cook it through because you're not using meat. As long as it just heats fresh up, it's fine. Fresh mushrooms. Fresh mushrooms or that seitan mushroom. Uh, yeah, fresh shiitake. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it it just heats. The, the yeah, mushroom it, people weren't at the farmers、so、market because they were organizing a mushroom festival today, so I couldn't get、nice. my mushrooms. So right now she's putting the bean paste in.、Uh, where's the bean paste? Well, the、okay, amount is depends. I don't have bean paste, but you said we could use red chili. Soy、right? sauce. You can use soy sauce. Or、okay, soy sauce and red chili. Yeah. Soy sauce. Yeah, and. The bean paste because it's thicker goes in now, and that's the sequence of the cook. And then the soy sauce chases after the bean paste. But not、that. too much. Not because, too much, no. Because we don't want to see the tofu so black. No, exactly, exactly. Oh yeah, show it again, Susie. We can put some. Now this is the wine.、Okay. So just the this is the wine that you add in now. Oh yeah! Don't forget the wine. Oh wait, I didn't put the Szechuan pepper in. No, not not yet. Not yet. You, okay, you the... I will have to grind that in my grinder. I've got a little. <laughs> well, let's see. How much wine? A little bit of wine to eliminate the 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 the, the smell of the meat. Yeah, just a little bit of wine, and once you smell the things start to like heat up, then you start pouring in slowly. The、uh, Water broth. Water or broth. Broth. Yeah. yeah, we like the broth because it already has a lot of the spices already inside. It's、yeah. just mainly salt, and sometimes they got the MSG kind of savory flavor already in the broth too.、Mm -hmm. If you use the umami. Yeah. So, our gas, even though it's on low medium, heats up so fast. All right. So I put in. The chili, the chili, chili. Yeah, you can put in chili instead of the red bean paste. The recipe said you could put some chili powder. Yeah, I mean it's the same thing. It just it's a different form. It's powder or paste. It has the same like ingredient. It's just paste versus powder. That's all.、Depends. Whatever's cheapest in your market. It depends how hot. You know how how. How hot do you like it? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna grind some of this Sichuan. So at this point, you can taste it and then see if you want to adjust your chili powderness more or less. That's fine. All your ingredients. Well, in my case, I've、through. got the meat. I wouldn't taste it because it's not. Yeah.、Uh, wait, wait till the meat cooks.、Yeah. Well, we also use meat, but ours was a half portions than ours, so ours finished cooking already. So、oh, yeah. once everything's done, uh, good chef's taste. I mean, yes, once it's safe to taste. Oh, I think Aaron, since he doesn't have any meat, he can taste at any time. That's fine. Actually, you taste the the juice, no problem. Hmm. 
I'm going to mute for a second because I'm going to run the grinder here. Okay. So at this point, you take this block of tofu and you just push it in. And it just slides off of the wetness. And just got to be careful not to let it splash. That's it. And there's the tofu into the sauce. And you have the broth in there already? Yeah. Yes. Where do you put the broth? Yes. Juice. You need this juice. You don't, right? Yes. Because we want to cook the, the tofu hot enough. So we need to put some juice in there. And water. nice and gentle with the blocks of uh, tofu. You want them to stay uh, blocky instead of mush. And when you serve this dish, the tofu will stay this cube. Oh, wait. You try it. Can you go hot or what? You can taste it. And when it starts to roll, then you put the last uh, almost. Almost. almost ready to roll, then you add the uh hua jiao. What is that called? That's one type of star. Yes, sorry. We call it something else. Yeah. We call it flower, uh flower corn in Chinese. Sichuan is a very different name <laughs> that English has. It's not really a pepper. That's no, from but a different plant. But yes, this is true. But Chinese vocabulary is very small, so a lot of things yeah. use the same words. This is true for. Oh. Or is holding up this cornstarch. Cornstarch. Last. Cornstarch comes last. Okay. So corn I've got cornstarch still, and I've got sugar still. You also got to put your tofu in there, or, or oh, yeah, yeah. not. Mm. Now's the time for when the meat's ready, then tofu goes in. Tofu is vast. What That's about the sugar? Tang zui hong. Sugar, whatever you can put in there, because uh, now almost ready. Yeah, so when it's almost ready at this point, then sugar. But I think ore hasn't started to boil yet. Mine hasn't started boiling, no. Yeah, okay. Because I'm making a lot more. Okay. Uh, you don't have to cook thoroughly. Yeah, so she oh. puts it in when it's rolling boil so that the sugar evens out. You don't okay. want it to caramelize or chunk up in a part of a pot, that's all. Because uh, uh, mapo tofu is supposed to be spicy, hot. Sweet. No? Yeah, very hot. Very hot. Sweet, very... sweet sour, and hot. Mm. No, not sweet and sour. We don't want uh, sour because uh, if it's sour, it tastes sour. You you will taste you will feel like uh, the tofu is spoiled. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. you don't want the fermentation. Okay, so you, you don't to come want out it to be sour. Tofu. Okay. And I so I still have yeah I have the Szechuan pepper still I grind I just did a rough grind in the grinder. That's fine. And so when it rolls, you can uh, start to put the Szechuan pepper in. Uh, or I'm guessing you can turn it to that's the highest you can put the heat. Yeah, I have your... it on the highest temperature. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would put that. I would put the Szechuan pepper through a through a sieve because otherwise it's going to get. You yeah, get the you holes in lot, there. You want it to be more consistent. So whatever size you want it, it. I mean, or looks pretty consistent. His Szechuan pepper. Well, I put it through, I have, my spice grinder is a little teeny coffee grinder and I just, and it, everything is, I could make this into a complete powder if I wanted. I would give it another shot personally. Okay. It's, I better, really to be, like, it's better to be too, you know, you don't, it's better to have it uh, more toward powder than have it pieces yes. of hull in there. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Aaron? Um, yeah, I'm wondering, should I use brown sugar or uh, just regular cane sugar? A little bit. Yes, it, it's so small, it doesn't matter. It's just a small amount of sugar. Right. It, I, it's I, I really like the pepper to have texture. Okay, it's starting. <coughs> Sorry. Other I than just Aaron, got some, cooking? some pepper in my mouth or in my uh, breathing. Okay. Sorry, other than Aaron and Orr, is anyone else cooking right now? I don't know. I'm not paying so. attention. Not anymore. Okay. I just finished. I'm eating. Oh, Jen's super fast. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, su I'm supervising. I'm oh, okay. done some of this ahead of time. We're watching and we're waiting to. 
for the final product. All right, so that's boiling. I think it needs a little more spice to it. I'm gonna yeah, now a is when you uh, adjust taste. Yes. Just a little bit. Cayenne Stir it up and taste it. Taste it before you add more. Yep, exactly. Cayenne can really overwhelm it really and quick. And at this point, she's going to work on the consistency, the mouthfeel of the sauce. So she added a little bit of the leftover broth to the corn starch at this oh, point. Or water is fine. Or water is fine. Yeah, I'm lazy to go there. But uh, when you feel your, your tofu was born, was uh, cooked uh, thoroughly, got to be thoroughly because people want to taste it very All right. Yeah, you warm. don't want, it, yes. You don't want to bite into the tofu and have a cold center of the right. tofu. Mm -hmm. So now she's going to adjust mm -hmm. the consistency and thickness of the sauce with the cornstarch. Okay. So you do that. So you're doing that after the tofu. Uh, yeah. After you finish spicing it. So when you have the spice to where you want it, because after you add the cornstarch, it's going to be different. So however spiciness, however uh, hua jiao, uh, Szechuan pepper to taste, you do it now. And then after you got it, the taste that you like, then at the end, you're going to add the corn starch. Yeah, because it's not going to change the flavor. It's just going to thicken it up. Right. But you want to taste before you add the thickener. Yeah. It's usually e right. much easier that in that sequence. Yeah. yeah. So she just added the corn starch and you pour it very slowly and evenly because as soon as it hits, it's yeah, going to start to thicken whichever parts it hits. Right. You want to adjust it. Like, yeah. You want. Now, when so, you mixed it, when you mixed it, did you put the cornstarch in first or the water in first? In oh, cornstarch first, always. Huh? No, they, they are already mixed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I yeah, am yeah. behind you. A, yeah, yeah. So cornstarch <laughs> in first and for a richer, thicker, more mouthy experience, she used a little bit of the leftover chicken broth. But you can use water if you I'm used done. up your can broth. Can I just take some of the broth from the pot, no? Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Do it in sesame. Did you say? Yeah. What about the mushrooms? What did they go in? Oh. Mm -hmm. At the last. <laughs> if you have whole mushrooms, they go in last. Yes, because the mushroom absorbs the sauce so quickly, it's fine. You don't want it to do and just, just get soft in it. Yeah. Last the thing is to put the cornstarch. Yeah, what well, the okay. cornstarch goes at the end. Yes. And then we put a little bit the uh, finishing sesame. oil. So sesame. she's adding the sesame oil as a finishing oil. And then we put the, the green onion. The green onion slash cilantro slash parsley towards the end. And that's done. Oh, and also if you got the mushrooms, the that also goes now, and you can see. The sauce is very thick at this point, and the boiliness is hard to come through the thicker sauce. Do you still have it on high heat, or you've got it turned down? Oh, no, no. We got it to the lowest heat, uh, because our walk is just very, very fast, fast walk. Yeah, but Sorry. or it needs more cooking. Yeah, uh, this walk, it just absorbs all the heat. It's amazing. Right. We are done. And so you're just putting this this the sesame oil just as yes. a flavor right at the end. It's a finishing oil, yes. I may or may not be adding cornstarch here. It, oh, it's Korean. The cornstarch <laughs> just does the uh, it has the mouth feel. So you see how the tofu jiggles and the sauce jiggles. Yeah, the cornstarch makes that possible. Okay, well. All right, I'll take a chance on it. I think it's 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 this uh, white powdery stuff in a Korean package. Uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty cheap stuff. That's it. That's your ma bowl dofu. And you serve it in a bowl as a soup, or do you serve it over like rice? Over the rice. Uh, because we're two of us eating, she puts it into this bowl first, and then this goes on top of a bowl of rice. And All if right. you have What's what, what do we call this in English? Cilantro. 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 Whatever, yeah. whatever you like. And then because this is a green, so it looks good. So this is for decorativeness, and you just put taste at, as yep, as a little topping. And it's got the good flavor on top of it too. And this right. is it. This goes onto the table. 
And then our rice from the rice cooker that we started, ours is almost finished. Mine just beeped, yep. so I think it's... There you go. Your <laughs> rice should have caught up to you at this point. Should have. It's been uh, 45 minutes since we started the rice. So how do you keep from, like... So my hard thing right now is I want to stir this, but if I stir it, the tofu is going to break apart. No, you you touch the wok. You stir the wok, not the spoon. So you get the... Like you that? hold on to this, and you do this. Oh, okay. There you go. That's I all think you I need to add some more cornstarch because it's not really thick. Yes. Uh, so, you, I don't know. You put oh, a lot wait, of Now it's starting to bubble. There, there I, you it's go. It's starting to bubble. I think it'll That's start good. thickening now. It's going to thicken up. A little goes a long way with cornstarch. Yep. Right. And that's it. So that's why in Chinese restaurants, you see them doing the wok because the wok stirs it without disturbing anything inside the wok. Okay. So you I can put, never put the in Szechuan there. peppers in. I forgot. Uh, put it in before the cornstarch. And then you're going to do, do a little bit and then taste it and then see if there you go. Oh, there you go. Or this is now you got, you got I'm not messing around. I want some flavor. There you go. I love Szechuan peppers now. So usually when I mean, for I me, it's not it's got a flavor, but it's not spicy. No, it's a different. It's not a it's not it's really a, a, pepper. a different spice. Yeah, it it's comes a bite. from a yeah, Tingle. it doesn't. It's not related to pepper family. Oh, yeah. There are different varieties of Szechuan pepper corns. That's right. And depends. They got yellow, Google green, yellow. and red. If you want, you can use the fresh one. That's very spicy. Oh, yeah. We got a neighbor who grew this. So if you want to put fresh ones in, it's very hot. That's a chili, not that's not a Szechuan pepper. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the paste, you can substitute the real deal. And All that's right. it. You're good to serve this at this time. Does anybody have any questions? I want to say thank you to Sharon for an excellent oh, lesson. You are very welcome. <laughs> this is an easy one. And uh, uh, we have something special, very hard to make, uh, or dumplings, if you want. We make oh, we dumplings. can come back and do dumplings again. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, I, I can make, I love making dumplings. Oh. This, I think the the patience is to learn how to like. Oh, yeah. I, yes. you, you, for me, I put too much in and then it won't close. Crimp. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, crimp. So. Yeah. So do you use the, uh, uh, do you make the skin yourself or you buy? No, I just buy the wonton wrappers. They're like this big. Oh, oh yeah. So I maybe make you it, teach I me. make it from, from the start, Ooh. from the flower. <laughs> I will be excited to have you come back on. She raises her own dough for that. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Teach me how to do that. This was nice and simple and quick. Yeah. And you can feed a lot of people very cheap. It scales very easily yeah. if you have a bigger pot. I have a so, question. Yeah. yeah. So do, we put the, do we put these greens on, on top of it and just kind of rest it in, or do I mix it in with the rest of the stuff? The we can't food? see what the greens are. What, what is that? The, the green no. onions. No, it's green just for onions. decoration. Actually, right? you can put on top. And uh, when people uh, serve, they, they will mix it. They, yeah. It, that's yeah. a little heat. It's yeah, okay. you can put it. Yeah, just for looks and give it a little taste, a yes. different taste. So you can pour it out onto your bowl and then put it on top. That's why. You call it a garnish. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's called. Garnish. That's the word. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> that's the word. We we call it toppings in Chinese. <laughs> so. All right. Any last questions before we wrap it up and everybody sits down and eats? Hey Google, turn on the lights. <laughs> Bon appetit. Yeah, this is just family style. Ooh, tight All right, we're wrapping it up. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Take a picture of that so we can post, post it up. I can't. Oh, maybe I can. The old internet. So.